Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. We are going to make an animated website header using the Flash F animation component to do the bulk of the animating for us. We're also going to work a little bit with the timeline here. You can see I've got a little bit set up on the timeline. We're going to take a look at some interesting techniques to create this animated header. Got the logo fading on. And a couple seconds it'll fade off. The shine kind of pieces itself on. We have the text fading in and the text changing and also the smaller logo that comes on to the stage and that also is a button. So that's roughly what we're going to do. I'm starting with a blank document here. I actually edited a couple things. I simply changed the size to 800 by 200. Use whatever size is going to work for the width of your website and whatever height. I'm using 800 by 200 and also remember to up the frame rate from 12 frames per second which is the default to about 30. I'm going to create one, two, three new layers. I'm going to name the first layer background background here if I can spell it correctly there we go background the second layer logo big the third layer text one and the fourth layer shine now onto the first layer the background layer I'm gonna open up my library and I'm gonna drag out MC background image and I'm gonna select it and set the X and Y to zero that is simply the positioning that I'll tuck it up into the top left hand corner I can lock up the background layer Come to the logo big layer, open up the library, and drag out your logo. All right, again, you're not going to be working with this exact file, so your own logo elements, obviously, here as I do this, you'll be using your own elements. I'm going to select this logo and go to the align panel, make sure two stages ticked on and align it horizontally and vertically. Lock that layer up. I'm going to come to the text layer, and I actually have my text already packaged up here into movie clips. So I'm going to choose MC text, and I'm just going to drag that out onto the stage. And I am going to, again, align this guy just vertically here and horizontally. And I'll do both, horizontal and vertical. Why not? And we're going to leave that as text one, lock that up, and actually shut that off for now. And then the shine layer, we are going to go to the library oops, and choose MC shine, drag that out. And this to select, and we're going to set the X and Y to zero to tuck that right up in that top left-hand corner. Now. I am actually going to start with logo big here. We're going to completely ignore the text layer for now. I'm going to lock up every other layer except this logo big layer. Make sure you have selected it here. Go window components. We're going to drag the flash F component and drop it right on that. You can see behind all the rest of this stuff, it has snapped that component to the top left-hand corner of our movie clip. Go window other panels, flash F panel. Flash is going to ask you to log in. However, I'm already logged in. So I'm going to choose a uh, show component here. Let me close the component panel, or a show pattern, excuse me. So show tab, and under patterns, we're going to choose FES slide, and we're simply going to choose the preset top to bottom. Everything else stays default. Now we're going to come over here to hide, and we're going to choose FES slide again, and we're going to use a preset here, bottom to top. Everything else, again, stays default. We can apply a filter to this too, as uh, if you would like. We could choose FEF reflection. We'll just leave that at default just for kicks. Well, you know what? Actually, we'll reduce the reflection. Let's say negative two for the reflection because I happen to know the uh, amount of sp extra spacing around this logo. Negative two is going to work pretty well. I'm going to minimize the flash F panel. Actually, close it all together. And let's just test this movie. Control test movie and check out what we have. You see the logo slides in with the reflection. A couple seconds, it slides off. Ignore this text for the time being. All right, so we've got that working. Now, this animation takes about six seconds total from the moment it slides in. It stays for about two seconds. It takes about two seconds to slide in. It stays for about two seconds, and then it takes another two seconds to slide out. So we'll figure about four seconds of the animation. As it's sliding out, we can have text start appearing. So four times 30, that makes 120 frames for four seconds. So I'm going to right click and hit insert frame. And you can see here it tells us the elapsed time will be four seconds at this point. Perfect. So I'm going to grab my text keyframe, and I'm going to drag that all the way out and drop it on frame 120. Now I'm going to show the text, unlock the text. I'm going to lock up the logo layer because we're done with that. Now this text movie clip, I'm going to double click into. And you can see I have this text field. This is dynamic text. And I have anti-alias for animation. And also whenever you use the dynamic text with Flash F, you need to select the embed button and just autofill that text field. Hit OK and window components we're going to drag that flash f component and drop it right onto this dynamic text field and we're going to edit this flash component we're going to go other panels flash f panel and again may prompt you to log in unless you saved your login information we're going to go to show 
we're going to choose FET alpha. Couldn't remember for a second which pattern we were doing. FET alpha, and we're going to leave it at the default preset, which is just character left to right, top to bottom. That's fine for this. And we're going to choose hide, and we're going to do the same exact thing. FET alpha, again, leaving it at that left to right, top to bottom. It's exactly what we want. Minimize that flash F panel, and let's just check to see what we have. However, actually, before we do that, double click to go back to scene one. I want to in a place a new layer on top of shine, and just name this layer AS for action script. And at the end of this movie, so our flash movie doesn't immediately replay, we're going to place a stop action. So right click, hit insert keyframe, place a keyframe there. Go window actions, and here's my actions panel. I'm just going to type stop, open and close parenthesis, semicolon, F9 to make the actions panel go away. Control, test movie. Let's see what we have. Here comes the logo. It sticks around for about two seconds. And here, as it disappears, we should see text appearing. And there, we see the text start to appear. And a couple seconds later, the text disappears. Wonderful. Now, what I want to do before we apply another bit of text, I want to make this shine appear somewhere about halfway through our logo coming in. Okay, the logo will be fully in by by the 60th frame. So let's do it out at the 60th frame. I'm going to drag this keyframe out to frame 60, or maybe a little beyond, right around frame 60. Unlock that layer, lock up text one. And we're working on the shine layer now. I'm going to go window components again, drag that flash up component, and drop it on top of the shine, it snaps to that top left hand corner as per usual. We're going to open up the flash F panel with that flash component selected, choose show. And we're only going to apply a show transition to this because we don't want this to go away. So we're going to choose FES. Oh, we can do anything. Let's just say Desert Illusion. Why not? Wave size, we'll reduce the wave size to about 35. And wave intensity, we will also decrease. Maybe make it about 80. And the blur quality, medium. We don't need to worry about smoothing right now. And that's it. Let me get rid of that. So now, when we watch this, this the shine will come in right as soon as this logo finishes up. Now what we need to do is throw another layer in here. Text 2. And this, I want to appear as this text is fading out, which is about six seconds behind here, which would be another 180 frames. So that would come all the way out to frame 300 here. All the way out to frame 300. Right click, insert frame. And all the way out here on the text two layer, I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. On this keyframe, I have the text, MC text two. I'm just going to drag it out. And again, with this text selected, I'm going to shut off the text one and the logo big layer so we can see what we're working on. I have this text. I'm going to open up the align palette again and align it both horizontally and vertically. Now I'm going to double click into here again. Actually, before I do that, I want this to have the same exact effects as this text here. So I'm going to hide text two. And I'm going to select, oh, lock up text two as well. And I'm going to select my text one. You need to make sure you unlock that layer. Double click into there and select this flash F animation component. This is inside of that original text movie clip, and I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to come back out, lock that layer back up, and hide it. Unlock my text too, and unhide it, or reveal it. Here we go. So our second bit of text. Double click back into here, right click, and paste this component, and just drag and drop it onto this dynamic text field. Again, just double check to make sure we've auto filled that text field. Okay, we have. We're good to go. Only thing I want to change is I don't want this text to ever hide. So I'm going to select this component, open up the Flash F panel, come to the Hide tab, and just scroll all the way to the top and choose None. That text will always stay now. Okay, great. We also need to remember to move our stop action all the way to the end again, all the way out to frame 300. And also somewhere here as this text is fading out, text 1 is fading out, or actually, excuse me, as the logo is fading out, we want the logo small to appear. So right here above logo big, I'm going to create a new layer and name it logo small. And let's say about a frame 85. We're going to right click, insert keyframe. I'm going to come back into my library and choose logo MC, drag that out. And I'm going to place in the approximate, you know, bottom left hand corner, somewhere right around here. And I'm going to come down to my properties panel. I'm going to make sure my lock is turned on. You can see locking the proportionate values for width and height. And a one half of 230, well, 231 is 115, 115 and a half. And when I hit tab, you're going to see it's going to, you know, make sure it stays proportionate to its original size. So it looks very good. We've got a nice logo right down there. And now all we have to do is make this logo appear here about 85. You know what, actually, I want to make that appear when this text appears, when the first logo is completely gone. So actually, 
even come out beyond that. Once we're sure it's safely gone, around frame 160, there are 161, we're fine. Window, components, drop a flash F component on that logo, and we are now going to edit this. We're going to come to the show patterns, and we're just going to choose something simple, maybe FES blur, and we're just going to blur it in from being very blurry, say 50 both on the X and Y with a blur quality of medium, and just sit there. We'll give it a filter of reflection. Uh, we're going to make the reflection distance about negative 6. That will be pretty good. Reflection alpha, reduce that, and also reduce the reflection drop-off percent, maybe to around 65-ish. Then go to the button tab. We're going to choose the FEB glow button pattern. And I want this to glow just basically something that's going to contrast. White would be fine. Um, we could do a red as well. So I'm going to choose actually a nice, really vibrant, maybe magenta-ish magenta, magenta -ish red. And the alpha of the glow I want to keep up. And I'm going to really blur it along the X. I'm not really too concerned about the Y. We'll leave that at default. But I really want to blur it side to side. So blur along the X. Next, we're going to apply a command. We're going to add an FEC navigate to URL. Browser target will be blank. That is simply, do I open this in a new blank tab or blank window? That's underscore blank. If you would like to open it in the same window or same tab, underscore self. We're going to stick with underscore blank. The URL is flashf.com. So let's check out our movie, and hopefully everything will come together and work perfectly. Control, test movie. Let's see what we have. Logo falls in. It's got a nice reflection. The shine appears as it falls out. Our text shows up. Our logo fades in nicely. When we roll over the logo, we get this nice red glow. Our second line of text comes in nicely. When I click over here, check it out, flashf.com. Very nice. One last thing I actually just remembered that I want to do is on the text one and two layers, I would like to select them. And because they're movie clips, I'm going to change the blend mode here. Now I'm moving off screen to overlay. That's going to give it almost a, you know, just a really cool, almost glassy look. So I'm going to choose my text two here. Let me just shut off the text one layer. Text two. And again, I'm moving off screen. I'm just selecting this blend drop down menu and choosing overlay. And if we test the movie, we're going to see it's a pretty cool effect. So here's the logo. Here comes the text. You can see how it's interacting with the background now. We've got our nice rollover. And there's a pretty cool animated header. Really quick to make. It took a little over 10 minutes to make in this case, but that was because I had to explain everything as I went. You know, you work on this, you get yourself into a nice roll, you know exactly what you're doing, and you can really knock out a header like this in much, much, much less time than you would normally do had you had to animate all of these you know, effects by hand. So that is an animated header using the Flash F animation component. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.